Yo, yo, Randy. Yo, man, I'm, I'm in the Uber, man. You said you was gonna hit me back, man, and let me know if it was confirmed or not. Yo, hit me back as soon as possible, man, all right? Good morning, my people. You're tuned in to me in the morning. Look, y'all, if you don't have to go outside today, stay in. It's mad crazy out there. Plus, forecast says we have a big storm headed our way. So, if you can, stay home, chill, relax, or snuggle up next to that special someone and let your girl take you on a musical high group of stories. Y'all with me? Try to relax. Just a little turbulence, that's all. There's nothing little about all this shaking. I'll be glad when we get there. Andy, my man's, what's up? Hello? Yo, Ra Randy, the connection. Did you say it's confirmed? Hello? Shit. Phone died. Hello, folks. This is the captain. Please return to your seat and remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt light goes off. We're approaching a storm front up ahead and we'll be experiencing some strong winds, some heavy rain, and a bit more turbulence. I, I gotta admit, there's more turbulence than I'm used to, but we, we should be fine. You keep on saying that. This better be important. It's 7 a.m. here. Hey, Mel, I'm calling off Rihanna's phone. Listen, baby. What? This is insane. You wouldn't believe how I got here. Things who aren't always this way. I was a happy little girl. And then that day changed my whole life. They always arguing. Because my father lost his job. So what? Don't be acting like your parents don't be arguing, Jordan. That was the first time I realized how important it was. Music. I found music that day, or maybe music found me. Either way, that was my way of escaping all the madness. Damn it, Kevin. I told you if you kept being late to that job, they was going to fire you. Now, how are we supposed to make ends meet now, huh? What you really mean how we going to support your damn drug habit? What about your habit? You blow all your damn money at that casino. At least I bring money in. 
When the last time you bought any money in this house? You the man? That's your job. And what's yours? Spend it fast as I get it, huh? Shit, that's probably Bill for the rent. He called here earlier. Look, tell him I ain't here. Tell him I'm still out of town or something. All right, all right. Damn. How you doing, Bill? Can we talk about that? I don't discuss your business out here. Sure. Come on in. Look, Crystal, case is on me about your rent. You guys are two months late, and I need to talk to Kevin. I'm afraid he's out of town. What kind of man will leave a beautiful woman alone in this neighborhood? Look, sometimes his job just requires him to be out of town, that's all. When he gets back, we'll take the check over to the office. You said that last week. You said that the week before. Now, you know we could work some out, but give you more time. Something like what? Get your hands off of me, you pervert! What is wrong with you? Oh my God, call go, go that What's home. wrong with him? Why would he do that? Uh, no, look, 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 look. Take me out of my mama's house. We, we can't panic. You didn't do anything wrong. You was just protecting me. Look, I don't want her to see me get arrested, okay? I don't know what you did. It'll be fine. <laughs> Look around you. Look, we got a dead man on our kitchen floor. Everything is not going to be fine. Look, just take her to my mama house until we figure this out, OK? OK, OK. <laughs> is everything all right, mama? Get your stuff and let's go. Where we going? Is daddy OK? You ask too many questions. When I say let's go, that's what I mean. Let's go. Don't be asking me all of them questions. Yes, ma'am. That ride to grandma's was the longest ride ever. My mama didn't say a word. She just cried the whole way there. That day will change all of our lives. Forever. I follow my passion. Okay. Took a smack without asking. Okay. You throw it down and I match it. Hmm. Sophisticated but ratchet, just chilling out. Okay, okay, okay. But now you gotta spit a little freestyle on it. You know, okay. like, I'm so bad, I'm so bougie. Get a camera, it's a movie. Got a skirt, like I'm Uzi. Got a fur, like I'm Gucci. When I'm done with y'all, I just treat them like a groupie. No makeup, I'm still appealing. I got them in it's villain. Hey, okay. <laughs> I'm feeling that. That's fly. I did that, did not. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Yours need some work, though, but it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Whatever. Okay, look. So. I'm not supposed to be telling you this, but your grandma throwing you a surprise party on the inside. Jordan, why would you mess up the surprise? I mean, my bad. Just act like you're surprised when you walk in. Surprise. Hey, Grandma. Hey, that goes, my baby. How you feeling? Wish I could stay good, baby, but these old tired bones just don't want to cooperate with you, Grandma. Stop it, Grandma. You are not old. Um, you always be. What's that song? 
doing the butt. You be like, mm, mm, dropping it like it's hot. That's my soul. <laughs> Sweetheart, I know this is your senior year, but I may not be there to see you walk across that stage. But I need you to know that I'll be there in spirit. I'm so proud of you, Melody. What's wrong? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> I got cancer, baby. And the doctors say I don't have long. Grandma, no. You're gonna live forever. You can't leave me, I won't let you. If this had been eight years ago, when your grandpa died, I would have been ready to go. Cause I thought I had nothing to live for. But then your mama brought you to me. Lord knows it hasn't been easy, but these have been the best seven years of my life. Grandma, doctors ain't always right. They surely ain't God. I won't let you give up like this. I don't know how much fight is even left in me. Listen, I need you to promise me that no matter what, you will not fall victim to these streets and that you go always follow your dreams. Stop talking like this, Grandma. Promise me, Melody. I already lost your grandfather, your father, and your auntie to these goddamn streets. But I can't let them have you, Melody. They can't have you. Promise me. I promise. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'm going to get you some help. No. I'm ready.
you know, the only reason why she lasted this long was to watch you cross that stage. That was the happiest and most proudest day of her life. You meant everything to her, Melody. She meant everything to me. This isn't fair. I'm supposed to live without her. But not let her down like me and your father did <laughs> by making something of yourself. That's what she wanted. That's what we all want from you, Melody. Making something of myself doesn't even matter now that she's not here to see me. Sure it does. In fact, right now, it means more than ever. You will prove to her that her sacrifices was not in vain. Wow. How do you sit here and tell me to do something that you didn't even do yourself? All she did was talk and brag about how you and dad were so talented. We messed up. We let her down. We let everybody, including ourselves, down. No, y'all didn't just let her down. Y'all broke Granny's heart. I wish it could be undone, but I can't. Look at me, Melody. You have to make a choice. Either you're going to make her proud forever, or you're going to break her heart. The choice is yours. find out? Oh, shit. I'm gonna find you, Jordan, and I'm gonna fucking kill you. You ain't no business. I just want you. You is my boo. Don't you understand? You are my Miss Cole. Miss Cole. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss White. This type of behavior is exactly why you're hanging on by a thread. I'm sorry. Just about to get off. Been really slow. I, I this get... is your last warning. The next time, you're going to find yourself in the unemployment line. Wow, don't you think that's a little too harsh? Harsh? If you think working instead of listening to music is harsh, we can always find someone who doesn't. Nah, I'm good. Hello. Okay. Mel, I need your help. I'm in trouble. What are you talking about? Why is you up in here? Miss Cole just got finished showing me out, and now you come up in here like this. He gonna kill me when he finds me. Andrew, what are you talking about? Khalid, he found out about Chris, and now he's after me. I gotta get out of town, Mel. And you thought this was the best plan? I just need you to fund me some cash to get a Greyhound ticket to New York. After that, I'm good. I promise. Come on, we can't talk here.
she ain't even here. Damn. Yeah, someone must have tipped her off. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up on Melody. I know she know where Jordan at. Okay, not much, but let me see. You can use this for the Greyhound. This is a little extra spending cash, but wait, where are you gonna stay at when you get in New York? Where Princess? The girl who tried to recruit you to be a stripper? Exotic dancer. Whatever. You got a better idea? I'm just saying. What if she trips on you? Then what? You in the middle of nowhere by yourself. You know damn well Khalid won't stop till I'm dead. I, I don't have no other option. Miss Cole. It seems we forgot personal visitors aren't allowed here. Uh, no, she's leaving right now, Miss White. And the gangster looking dude in the front. <laughs> He'll be leaving with her, right? Yeah, he'll be leaving too. Good. And when your little party here is over, I need to see you in my office, because this will be your last day here. Come on, I might as well take it to the Greyhound station. What about your job? What job? You heard her. Mel? I'm not being nice no more. I know you know where Jordan is. Don't make me come back there. Sir, you can't go back there. Get the fuck out the way. I'm calling the cops. Oh, my God. Oh, my what? God. Jordan, my mother said you would be a death of me. Look what Khalif sent me. Oh, he said that to me first, too, Mel. Maybe you need to get out of Detroit, too, Mel. I can't just pick up and leave like that. I have a life here, Jordan. What life do you really have here? You just lost your job, you don't have a man, and you behind the arrest. OK, arena. OK, I get the picture. Plus, you know his crazy ass will hurt you or even kill you to get to me. Brooke! Yo. How do you know Princess even got enough room for me? Hell, she probably ain't even got enough room for both of us. I know one thing, you can't stay here. I I'll call her and work something out, but we need to go now, Mel. Brooke! OK, OK, OK. I got to go see my dad first. Hell no. Yes, he's having surgery, and I'm his good luck charm, so I got to change and go see him first. We need to get out of Detroit now. You go fool around and get us both killed. Jordan, you know how I feel about my dad. I'm not leaving until I go see him, so do whatever you want to do. Pink block ready, trigger finger, and I'm gunning for you. Because I want to win. She want me to win. The love is genuine. Thankful for that. One good friend, that's all I need. She my brown, she gon' hold me down. Good friend. And if a nigga wild out, she gon' knock your ass out. Good friend. Face so sweet, body so mean. Good friend. It's just her and me. I can't believe we crammed all this stuff into this little bitty ass car. I'll be back. I tell my dad you sit high too. Hey, Pop. I see why you're so happy over here. Because those sorry lions of yours finally won a game. Yeah, but it almost gave me a fucking heart attack. I'm here to see Kevin Cole. Well, I'm gonna let you work. <laughs> ID, please. Okay, go on in. Hey, Pop. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> What's up? I didn't think you was gonna make it. I told you I was coming. Yeah, you did. So did some other people, though, and they didn't make it. I take you talking about mom. She trying to figure things out. Just give her some time. Stop it, man. I know about her little boyfriend. <laughs> How you find out about her in here? Everything that goes on out there, they get right back in here to us. Mm -hmm. You ready for tomorrow? Ready as I'm going to be. But how you get ready for something and the paperwork clearly say 
I could die on that operating table. You'll be fine. Yeah, I better be. Thank God he was in good spirits. Good. Now we can hit the road. Okay, put the address in my GPS. By the time you got this damn thing fixed, do you want to get out and walk to New York? Damn. Why are you so sensitive? Because you always tripping. Come on, let's get a popping up in here. me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see somebody. Y'all here for princess? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. made it, huh? Your princess? You got a problem with that? Nah. Princess, this is my girl, Melody. Your girl, girl? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. We just been friends since seventh grade. 
See, now that's love. She rolled you all the way down here from the D. I sure did. Yeah. That job ain't no joke. You ain't never lied. So, where can I take a shower or get some rest up in this piece? I feel you. I get some rest before taking that long drive back, too. What? Long drive back? You ain't tell her about me? Princess, I tried to call you, but... I don't have time to be on the phone all day. What's up? I was hoping she could hang around at least until we figure something out. Shh. We don't do charity around here. But she's a good-looking girl. With a little bit of makeup and a right outfit. She could work. But y'all have to start tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Start tonight? Oh, I ain't no damn stripper. Well, then you'll be homeless in the Big Apple. And what about you, honey? Me? Yeah, I'm good to start tonight. Check in with Jay over there. He'll get you everything you need to get you ready for tonight. Enjoy New York, Miss Melody. It can get real cold here sometimes. Oh. Oh. Look, Mel, you need to chill. This could be a new start for us. Princess says all the top rappers and producers come through here. This could be my big break. And I need you as my hype girl, you know? So, hype girl by day and a stripper by night. Jordan, that sounds like my dream life. No, come get your stuff out this trunk. I'm headed home. At least hang to tomorrow. If everything works out like Princess says, I'll get us a hotel room and we'll still New York out. Come on, please. What up, Jordan? That be texting like I miss you. I had you looking at the message like who sent you. You put your pinky on your lip like a pimp do. Oh, you miss me, bruh? Miss me with that shit too. You only seen a product. You ain't read the fine print, boo. I expect my check on the first like the rents do. I need to see my name in lights like a blimp do. I'm the shit, bro. Your ass is Billy Tissue. So I'ma keep you in Carlito like some tint do. You kiss these lips, but these lips ain't never kissed you. I had you feeling for this beef like mint do. That ain't how you treat a nigga that you miss too. Fuck boy, you. Don't be talking about shit. We like a nigga that be trying to get rich. I throw a nice crisp paw when he clips. You just a nigga on a nigga shit list. He ain't talking about nothing. Okay, that sound pretty dope. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You pretty fast with that mace, baby. I was just giving you a compliment. Why the hell are you sneaking up on me like that, then? <laughs> Actually, I didn't sneak up on you. You was just so locked into your song, which, by the way, is fire. Guess you didn't see me coming, but I'll let you finish. I'll get out your way. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you think it's fire? Yeah, I do. You know, if it was me, I'd add some flavor on there, something like, uh, Play me a beautiful noise. I see the pain and the joy. Na, 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 na. Okay. You know, something like that. Okay, so why is a talented guy like you working security here? Let's just say I'm on a mission. What about you? Why is such a beautiful, talented woman like yourself doing sitting in this parking lot, banging out hits? <laughs> okay, you have a way with words, Mr. Omari. Amari Jones. My friends call me OJ. And you are? I don't know if I should be giving a security guard stalker my name. OK, OK. <laughs> so you got jokes, huh? Nah, it's Melody. Seriously, your, your parents named you that? Is it a problem with that? Nah, I mean, sound dope as hell. They fit you, too. Look, you don't need to do this no more. All you have to do is come home with me and I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. Thanks, sir, but I'm good. Sir! 
After all the money I've spent on you, and you still don't know my name? I, I gotta go handle this, okay? Come here! Ah. Come here! <laughs> Sir! Man, you get your hands off the lady, man! <laughs> Where you see a lady, she ain't nothing but a stripper! Ah. <sighs> the hell away from me. I'm gonna make sure Princess fires your ass. And I might just press charges too. Sorry, sir. You ain't sorry yet, but you will be when I'm done. Hmm, fucking punk. Oh, wow. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. But you know he's right. Princess is probably gonna fire you. I don't care about none of that. As long as you okay. You did all that for me. Why would you do that? You probably do it for all the girls. No. No, only you. I, I mean... Uh, okay. I thought you liked me. I do. But it's complicated. Complicated? Complicated? Complicated is the story of my life. Kiss. You just a nigga on the nigga shit list. He ain't talking about nothing. This right here for the niggas who don't be talking about a goddamn time. This right here for the niggas who don't be talking about a goddamn time. He ain't talking about a goddamn time. He ain't talking about a goddamn time. Hey, I'm here for pickup. All right, cool. What's your name? Omari Jones. Okay. Yeah, y'all pretty busy in here today, huh? Yes, sir. That'll be 2317. How's Princess these days? Man, you know. Princess is Princess. back for my break. Well, well, hurry up, man. Uh, uh, some damn girl that fell asleep in the parking lot out here. Yeah, that's Melody. I I'm bringing her back something to eat. Nigga, you crazy? You, 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 you know what Princess said about uh, French sizing with the customer? Uh, with, 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 the, with the girls? Hurry your ass up. The word is fraternizing, old school. Fraternizing. You, nigga, you know what I meant. Get your ass back here. 10-4. Ten 10-5. <laughs> Whatever, man. Woo woo. Dang, you're so annoying. Hey, I was just trying to avoid from getting pepper sprayed. Yeah, got you something to eat. But you think I'm homeless or I need a handout? I'm just sitting here waiting on my friend. You know who said anything about you being homeless? I mean, even if you was, who judging? Girl, take the food. You should really eat something. You ain't put no ecstasy or nothing in it, did you? My God, are you kidding me? Do you always look at stuff so negatively? Even when I look at them positively, they always happen bad, so what's the use? I mean, things can change. <laughs> things can't change. It is what it is. You know, words are very powerful. You should really be careful what you say. Look. Here's my number. Call me anytime if you need anything. What you thought? A few compliments and a burger and fry was gonna get you in my pants? <laughs> Are you crazy? You know that? I did it because I thought it was the right thing to do. I'm not trying to get in your pants. Whatever. Yes, girl, we killed it today. You know I'm about to buy me some new shoes, do everything. Well, I'm gonna buy you something. Don't, don't talk to me like that. Be nice. Princess, you wanted to see me? Let me call you back, child. 
Yeah. Princess, there's some bull, and you know it. He put his hands on one of the girls. I'm paid to protect them, right? Damn it, Omari. You only been here two weeks, and you knocking my clients out. You must not want this job. So what you saying? The client's more important than the girl's safety? Now you getting it. These girls understand the occupational hazards of being a dancer. So security just for show. Nothing more, nothing less. If you're not good with that, there's the door. Dang, weirdo. So I'm a weirdo now? My bad. I thought you was the security guard. Who you been trying to get at me all night? Well, I got some news that'll make you feel better. We got invited to a private party, and guess who's gonna be there? Who? DJ Slave and Lil Matt. Girl, at 2.30 in the morning. Even if it was at 5 in the morning, we still need to be there. This could be the big break I've been waiting for. Damn, I'm tired as hell. I just drove you all the way from Detroit while you slept, okay, remember? Okay, let's just go for a minute and make some connections, and then we'll leave. Afterwards, I'll get us a hotel room, and we can sleep all day. Ain't get on my nerves. Okay, if we're not feeling it, we'll leave, okay? I promise. Fine, but I gotta change. Me too. What are you doing? Yo, it's this security guy. Oh my God. So you about to pick up some random dude? You about to pick up the stalker? What? <laughs> oh, you ain't tell me he was fine. Yeah. Hey, listen. Tell him I said, since he bought me dinner, seems like we're going in the same direction as him. Um, what do you like a ride? Yo, my friend says, seems like we're headed in the same direction. And in appreciation for you buying her dinner the other night, do you want to ride? I just missed my bus, so tell your friend that'd be greatly appreciated. Yo, he said, I heard him. So, where are you going? Y'all going to that little main and DJ play party? It's, it's on the way. What makes you think we going there? I mean, that's what all the newbies do. They go to the private parties, looking to get on. Hey, get in. See, so you have a heart after all, Miss Melody. Do you want to get out here and walk? She'll do it too. She did it to me one day. My lips are sealed. Mari, you are an interesting man. Why you say that? I'm just saying, like, why a talented man like you live in this upscale neighborhood, but then ride the bus, and you're a security guard? I, mean, I don't get it. <laughs> I answer that when you tell me why such a beautiful, talented woman like yourself ain't out here giving Cardi and them girls the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They say flattery will get you everywhere, but you're full of shit. <laughs> Am I? Mm -hmm. You too afraid to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You got your phone? It's in the car. Look, let me get your number. And if you want to talk, go out for a real dinner date, do some music, call me. I mean, nah, I'm OK. Thanks, so. though. <laughs> All right, sure. Here. Thanks for the ride. Nah, this is way too much. We was going this way anyway. Don't worry about it. Girl, you better take that money. Girl, I thought you would sleep. Excuse my friend. Excuse me, but we got a party to go to. It's all good. All right, I gotta go. Well, uh, good night, ladies. All right, see you later.
Girl, that nigga want to make some music, all right. Talking about you can be out here giving Cardi and him the business. <laughs> we know it's only one bitch in this car that can get him the business, and that's your girl right here. I don't know. Like, when you were in there, like, I really think I might have came up with a banger. Wow, this nigga done gassed you up trying to hit it. He got you believing it? Nah, I'm for real. I'm not saying it because of him. I'm saying it because I really think I came up with a banger. Let me let you hear it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, I need to be focused on what's 16. I'm dropping for Flav tonight. Girl, stay in your lane. I'm the star. You just the hype girl. Whatever, Jordan. I have to save a hoe out here. I'm just saying, like, you should just listen to it. Maybe later. Oh, and the girls from the club was to roll up in here, man. It's past two, so passes is closed. It should be here soon. All right, bet. I thought it would be way more people in here than this. Well, maybe we were here early. Oh, check out what just came in. Now that's what I'm talking about. Feeling both of them. I'm gonna get at the lights. Cool. Something definitely feeling the sexy chocolate. Give it a minute. Welcome hmm? to the party, ladies. And you are? I'm Jordan. And this is my girl, Melody. Y'all princess girls, huh? Mm-mm. I'm not. She is, though. So how about we go somewhere where I can get to know you better? Oh, well, I would love to show you a few things I've been working on. And I'd love to see what you're working on. Okay. Bye. Bye. I've never seen you at any of Flav's parties before. Must be a newbie trying to get on, huh? Maybe I just like parties. <laughs> okay. Just as long as you know, Lil Mane is off limits. Okay. That's cool, because I don't want nobody up in here. <laughs> I see you don't let me here. I guess you could say that. You know, you like everybody right here having a good time, except you. The looks can be very deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She got some tight ass shoes on her with that body trainer. And that's what I should say, fuck you. Wow, sound like you hating to me. Sounds like I want to talk to you. So obviously you differ from the other girls around here. What's your name again? Melody. Melody. <laughs> Yo, you got to do something musical or something like that with a stage name like that. But what's your real name? That is my real name. So that's your government birth certificate name. Absolutely. Is that your government birth certificate name, little man? That's how you do know who I am. Of course. 
you are the reason why some people are walking around here half naked. I ain't see you walk up in here looking like you was headed to church. Yo, you mad beautiful yourself. I would love to see you fully naked. <laughs> Not a chance. Do you see a hole written around my phone? Great. <laughs> are you always in the mode? You know what I'm saying? Let's find out. What you just put in my drink? Nothing. I didn't put nothing in your drink. Yeah, okay. Yo, get your crazy ass out of here, man. Yo, hold on. I ain't gonna ask you again. What did you just put in my drink? You told me to. I don't know what it is. Ecstasy or something. Yo, Jordan! Get down here now! Jordan! Let's go now! What are you doing, ma'am? Jordan, they tried to put something in my drink. Let's go. Stop being paranoid. Nobody put nothing in your drink. You're tripping, Mel. I just told you they tried to put something in my drink and you talking about I'm tripping? Look, just go to the car. I'll be out there in a minute, okay? No, Jordan, let's go now. They on some bull up in here. Then fucking go. I'm sick of you. You been nothing but dead weight anyway. You the one got me in this mess and I'm dead weight? NYPD. Yo, go ahead and arrest him. He just tried to drug me. Give me the knife. Officer, you arresting the wrong person. They tried to drug me. Listen, don't make this harder than it needs to be. Let's go. Wow. Man, let me go. Hey, relax. More people's handles this in the morning. I'm sure we'll have a department support. Bet. Let's go. Crooked ass cop. Let's go. I can't believe it. They denied my student loans. Now I'm going to have to keep on dancing to pay for college. Oh, look, let me call you right back. Not you again. What are you doing? You doing security here, too? No, I... What, <laughs> you're a student here? No, not at all. So what are you doing here? Actually, I'm looking for you. You stalking me now? No. It's my father's dying wish. Your father? What kind of sicko are you? Never mind. You just get away from me. You're a creep. Your mother's name was Sharon. You lost her when you were four. You never knew your father. You were born at Grace Hospital, 7 11 a.m., April 27, 1996. You were seven pounds, 11 ounces at birth. was the only memory he ever had of you. Where'd you get this? This is me and my mom when I was a baby. So are you saying? Yeah, that's your father. His name was Tyler Jones. The Tyler Jones from all the loan commercials? The we can't finance you, nobody can. The Tyler Jones, he's my father. Yeah, he was. S so... Then what is Tyler Jones' son doing working as a security guard then, huh? Well, I took a job to get some of your DNA so the test could actually determine if you were my sister or not. So, you're here. That means the test came back positive. So, does that mean I'm rich? I'm not sure how much he actually left you. But tomorrow, if you want, we can actually go and visit his lawyer, and she'll break all that down. So that explains why you didn't kiss me that night. I told you it was complicated. Complicated? Complicated is the story of my life. Hey, Aunt Glow. Hi, Amari. I didn't know you were in town. Um. Does your mom know you're coming in because I don't see you on her schedule? Nah. I just dropped by before I go back to L.A. She's on the call with a client, but I'll let her know that you're here. Have a seat.
she'll be on her call another 10 minutes, but she'll be with you right after. So, what's her deal? You didn't hear this from me, but your mother was assigned to prosecute her. But we both believe she's innocent. So, what did she supposedly do? The stories are conflicting, but rapper Little Main, if you want to believe what he says, says she broke a wine glass and threatened to kill some people at his party. No, nah, that don't even sound like Millie. They had to do something to her. You know her? Yeah, I do. They are going to railroad that poor girl if nobody helps her. They've been trying to give her a deal all week. You said it would happen. Looks like Banks' attorney took our plea deal. Amari, what are you doing? Didn't Gloria inform you I'm on an important call here? I need to talk to you right now, Mom. I don't know what this is about, but as you can see, I'm busy here, son. We'll talk when I'm done. This can't wait. A woman's life is at stake here. We'll talk about that so-called sister of yours later. It's not even about my sister. I'm talking about Melody Cole. Brad, I'm sorry. I'll have to call you back. Yeah, sure. No worries. She did say in her statement that she was coming from a strip club. I'm guessing it's the one your bastard sister works at. She gave me a ride to your house that night. Ma, Melody ain't no killer. Just because she gave you a ride doesn't mean she's not a killer. You need to calm the hell down, Attorney Watson. Can somebody please tell me why my client is being questioned without representation? Sure, your client waived her right. Suit yourself. This is your last chance. Either you take the deal or you ride away in a prison. What's it gonna be? I take my chances in court, detective. You know, they love sweet young girls like you in Bedford Hills. What the hell is this? I'm in the middle of an interrogation here. I'm here to represent Ms. Cole. I'm her attorney, Blair Watson. Yeah, I know who you are. But how'd she get a high-profile lawyer like you to represent her? Well, it looks like she has friends in high places. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to my client. So, who is this friend I know in high places? Omari Jones. Omari Jones. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, me or Omari can afford your services, folks. <laughs> Omari, Miss Cole, has already paid my $25,000 retainer fee. And he's also prepared to pay your $50,000 bill. So, <laughs> I would say, I think he's well capable of paying your legal fees. Wait. Are you talking about Omari Jones? Absolutely. I've known Omari his whole life. <laughs> this is crazy. Look, Ms. Cole, I've already talked to Mr. Mann's legal team, and they've agreed to drop all charges. 
just as long as you don't file charges against him. But they try to drug me. But we have no proof of that. So, so he's just gonna get away with it. Miss Cole, I would suggest you take that off. Now, in the meantime, let's get you out of here. Amari has arranged your vehicle downstairs for you to pick you up. Okay. Thanks, driver, for taking me to get dressed. Uh, where are we headed to now? We are headed to Varchalis. Mm, Varchalis. Okay. How far is that? Nothing very far. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Yeah, oh my god. Man, everybody turned their back on me, but you didn't. I didn't even know you remember me from that night. You're unforgettable, Miss Melody Cole. Come on, have a seat. Aw, our first little date. <laughs> So, why would you... I'm so confused, right? <laughs> like, where did you get all that money from? And why would you do that for me? Because you deserve it. Melody, you were born to dream out loud, and I'd be locked up in somebody's cage. So, that whole security guard thing, was that like a coming to America moment? Like, you were trying to see if I was really feeling you or something? Nah, it was nothing like that. I uh, was trying to help out my sister. It, it, it's a long story. So. Well, just know that you had me at the first moment you told me that you believed in me and that you believed in my or cared about my dreams. I just was too scared to tell you the truth. Well, Attorney Watson told me about the deal they offered you. Mel, you should take the deal. I mean, at least you'll be free. Me to do what, Omari? Go to Detroit and... Or be here and live on the streets of New York. Uh, what about this option? Go to LA, pursue your dreams. Oh, I didn't know fairy tales were an option here. The only difference between a fairy tale and reality is simply believing that it's possible and going for it. That fairy tale isn't possible for me. Probably not. But the reality is. <laughs> Can I have some more wine? So, we have a lot to celebrate. Definitely. You ain't got a That's it. Thank you. So, what do we cheers to? Uh, freedom. <laughs> cheers to freedom. Don't be afraid, you know I like it. Don't get too excited. Take my 
my hands down now. <sighs> What's that smell? Oh, that's my jelly. That's where we had our first date. <laughs> and you saved my life. Baby, I can't slip nothing past you. Just keep your eyes right there. Attorney Watson, he fought my appeal for me. I'm a free man. Mama, ooh, you are a bombshell. Thank you, child. And four months clean and feeling great. Look what your daddy did. I know y'all ain't getting married without me. Heavens no, but we are engaged, but he better speed things up. You better. You know Mama a mess. Can y'all just give me one second, please? Sure, baby, go ahead. Do your thing, baby girl. <laughs> I'm gonna die with some of this food, though. I know you will, <laughs> Spock. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how you doing? Um, can I still on my for just one moment? Sure, no worries. Boy, you better get over here. Did I do something wrong? No, I love you. I love the way you are. Thank you for loving me the way you do. I can't help it. You the level of type. Maybe I got somebody that uh, wants is, to meet you. Is that for Randy Love from Big City Records? Nice to meet you. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you, talented Miss Melody. By the way, did Omari tell you about the plans we have for your album? We have plans. We have plans. We have plans for Randy Love from Big City Records? I was trying to keep it a secret, Mel. <laughs> but Randy loved the album so much that he gave us a record deal with Beautiful Noise at the first scene. Oh, my God. Mr. Randy Love, I promise you, we will not let you down. <laughs> oh my goodness! I gotta go tell my parents. I'll be right back. <laughs> we got a big record deal with Big City Records! Oh my god, it's so crazy. And your grandma is smiling from ear to ear. I'm so glad you're here and see this. Look. Let's meet in my office in a few days, you, Melody, and I. So we can finalize everything. And after that, maybe we can do a little celebrating of our own. And that sounds good. Thank you, man. Thank you again for dropping by, man. No worries, my brother, man. You already know. Let's get this money. Let's do it. All right, man. They could, you wish they would. Don't catch these vibes. You want my mind? My quarantine queen, we can stay inside. I got her in that loose. I look. Hmm. I'm chill as usual. Was that crazy? Yep. Okay. Let me find out. I gotta come to New York and come and check up on you. Promises, promises. Are you sure it's okay if uh, Brianna comes spend some days with us? You know, like the only family she has. Of course it is. You don't even have to ask that after everything's done for my family. You know, it's her first plane ride, so I want to do the big brother thing and be with her. We should be back first thing tomorrow. Okay. Well, I guess I can go one night. But only one night. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. All right. Make sure you call me, okay? Okay. You know that it's real when the real niggas feel it. Since we talking real, let's be real for a minute. I'm tripping like a fuzzy. Whoa, wow. Uh, that was one of his proudest moments. Wow. There's so much love in these pictures. Yeah. That's when everything was good. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, sis, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for having me.
You all packed in, ready for tomorrow? Ready? I'm so excited to meet my family in Cali. I've been packed for like almost a week now. <laughs> Here's the family. <laughs> Yeah, I'm safe. I always did like this place. Who the hell are you and how did you get in this house? The same way you did, darling. I used my key. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Jones, Armari didn't tell me you were coming. Well, nice to finally meet you. I just came to meet his new project. You do know that's what you are, right? Project? <laughs> OK. Well, if that's what it takes to be in his life, then that's what I'll be. But what I refuse to do is be without him. You're good. You almost sound believable, like you really meant it. That's because I really do. <laughs> OK, it all makes sense now. What might that be? I was just always, always so puzzled as how a wonderful man like your son was still single. I guess you ran him away like you're trying to do now. But it won't work this time. And how dare you come into our home with all this negativity and drama? Your home? This will never be your home. I made sure of that myself. The deed states that no one other than Amari or myself can own this place unless we sell it. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe one of those women that you ran off could have actually made your son happy? Or do you really even care? Look, I'm doing this for his own good. I see right through women like you. What is it going to take for you to walk away, huh? 20000 25, 30. I don't give a damn about his money. I had waited my whole life not knowing what real love was until your son, until he came into my life and touched me. He touched a part of me that I didn't even know existed. So if I have to live in a cardboard box in the freezing snow, as long as we're together, I'm good. I don't give a damn about his money, and I don't give a damn about this house. I'm gone. Look, I'm sorry. I thought you were one of them. One of who? You know, one of them who don't care about him and just want to rob him blind. No, that's not me. That's my ex-best friend, Jordan, but... Not for nothing, Miss Jones. I love your son with every breath in my body. Look, you stay. This is your home now. I'll get a hotel. But if it's OK with you, I'd like to come by tomorrow and spend time with you guys. No. That's not acceptable. Yeah, you're right. I behave was totally out of line. It was. But that's not what's unacceptable. What's unacceptable is to let you stay in a hotel room when you could stay here and we could have girls' night and really get to know each other.
From the way it looks, you have another hit, Mr. Love. Beautiful noise could debut at number one tomorrow. Word? Serious? Ha, <laughs> nice and suck, babe. Yo, Randy, what's up, man? Yo, looks like with the heavy volume of pre-sales and early projections, Pretty for Noise may debut at number one tomorrow. Man, are you serious? Oh, man, this is amazing, man. What will you know for sure? Yo, I would know no later than early in the morning. Okay, cool, cool. I'll just wait for your confirmation because I don't want mail getting too hyped, you know, just yet. All right, man, I'm going to keep you posted, man, so you in the loop. Yo, Randy, thanks, man. Take a selfie. Okay. Miss you. <laughs> I'm sending this up. He's gonna be so bugged out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? That was my mom in those pictures, right? Have you been drinking that much that you can't recognize your own mother? Okay, what's going on here? And what has my mother done to you? You're on speakerphone, darling. I haven't done anything. Can't the two women who love you have a great time together? Okay. Who are you? And what have you done with my mother? Everything you told me about Melody is absolutely true. I adore her. This woman loves you. Don't be a fool and not love her back. You ain't got to worry about that. I may raise no fool. No, I didn't. <laughs> Look, darling, you're interrupting our girls' night, so we have to let you go. Thanks, Ma. This means everything to me. I love you. You better. <laughs> Take this off speakerphone. Everything good there? Yeah. I mean, it actually just got even better. You're so amazing, Melody Cole. My mama don't like nobody. She like you. Well, get you some rest. And we'll be there to get you tomorrow from the airport. Well, hopefully I get out there in the morning. You know, they postponed seven commercial flights due to the storm out here. Well, whatever time you get there, me and your mom will be there to get you. Love you. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. I love you, baby. Good night. Night. Lord. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> Try to relax. Just a little turbulence, that's all. There's nothing little about all this shaking. I'll be glad when we get there.
Andy, my man's, what's up? Hello? Yo, Rand Randy, the connection. Did you say it's confirmed? Hello? Shit. Phone died. Hello, folks. This is the captain. Please return to your seat and remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt light goes off. We're approaching a storm front up ahead and we'll be experiencing some strong winds, some heavy rain, and a bit more turbulence. I, I gotta admit, there's more turbulence than I'm used to, but we, we should be fine. You keep on saying that. of my life, his plane landed safely. And we are still going strong. Rolling in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, thank you. Our next guest is seven time Grammy Music Award winner, five time American Music Award winner, and her current single is on top of the chart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show, Miss Melody Cobb. Hi, y'all. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the show, Melody. Hey, how are you? I am loving that outfit. Yeah, I am okay. fine. Okay. I'm loving it. I love that. You doing your thing, too, you know, sis? I try. I try a little bit. <laughs> so, Melody, since you've accomplished so much, what's next for you? <sighs> Yolanda, um, I'm just trying to create quality music mm -hmm. that touches people. Well, you know what, Mel? You are definitely doing that. <laughs> a great job at it. So what? let's get to the juicy stuff. Because oh, I hear a rumor about uh, you and Lil Mane. What's the rumor? <laughs> we not get this for that. <laughs> That's a day. Okay. 